Good morning, I'm Natalie Walker, and this is Korean Beauty in a Day. I've been hearing about all of these Korean beauty products, Korean beauty trends. I have never gotten to try them out for myself. Today, I have the opportunity to try out over 70 products. I've got a lot to learn, and I've got 24 hours in which to do it. So let's go on this journey. I haven't even taken my retainer out of my mouth yet. It's gonna be a real day. Box number one. Ooh. My God, just masks galore. This is such a dream. Ooh, snail bee. What ingredients are the snail and what ingredients are the bee? Oh, this seems like a sex toy. My parents are gonna watch this, I don't. Okay, we are only one hour in and I already have so many questions. I think it's time to call in an expert. Hi, Charlotte. What would you say are the biggest like differences between Korean beauty and American beauty? I feel like Korean beauty is really accessible in price point. With Korean beauty, you could buy five to 10 products and it'll really be just under $100, $150. And also it's all about the packaging. The packaging is so adorable or so sophisticated. I like heard a lot about this like 10 step Korean beauty like process. Can you walk me through that? There are all steps that are gonna help treat your skin and help really hydrate your skin. Korean women love layering products. As you layer using lightest to thickest product, it's really gonna help trap the moisture. I can't wait. Thank you. Good luck. All right, have all the stuff ready to go. Starting off, cleanser. It smells like a fancy lady's perfume. All right, moving on. Green tea, the cleansing stick, this exfoliant. This consistency is very great. Also, like, it's just so nice having an exfoliant that smells good. I feel like most exfoliants smell very, like, chemically. Once I ran out of makeup wipes and I used a Clorox disinfecting wipe, that's a true story about me. Toning pads. Ooh, and it is double-sided, so it's, like, more abrasive on one side. The moment I have been waiting for, snail bee mask. That was with the snail mucin and bee venom. It says to wait for five to 10 minutes. Just post a nut, do lift weights. It feels good. Really clean and really like juicy. Royal honey essence. I'm obsessed with this. And now we move on to the white truffle serum. I don't think it smells like white truffle, but I also have never had white truffle. The eye cream. My eyes felt so puffy this morning when I woke up this moistful collagen situation. And finally, time for our SPF. SPF 50, baby. Not joking around. I just went through the whole 10 step routine and I have to say, my skin is feeling good. I think my favorite part is this essence. Into it. It's a beautiful day. So I'm gonna go get dressed and then we're gonna go out into the world for some more Korean beauty excursions. All right, we have nail therapy, of the nail therapy treatment, and we have this green tea mask. Here we are at beautiful Premier 57 in Midtown. This is the uniform, I'm ready to explore. Do I look more beautiful? The salt moisturizes the air inside, allowing for easier breathing for those with respiratory issues. I have asthma. This room provides the ultimate meditative environment with its hand-painted walls and soothing aroma of Korean yellow clay. Short exposure to cold stimulation improves the body's antioxidant capabilities. Oh, it's real ice. I feel like Jack Nicholson at the end of The Shining. We are now here at the luxurious gold room, which reminded me of one of the products that I have to try, this gold wrinkle mask. I love gold. I'm about to go in for my soak, and then I'm getting a body scrub. I have heard the scrub is super intense. She was up in every single like nook and cranny. Oh, it's like sandpaper 
for a while on like all of the parts of your body. And then she douses you with hot, a like a bowl of hot water, like a big bowl of hot water. And I feel like so smooth. She like comes in, Sue came in and just like was like tapping, was like drumming, doing a full concert. But she also told me that whenever I cleanse my skin, I should start back here to sort of start the lymphatic drainage. So what Sue was saying about the differences between Korean women and American women in just like the way they respond to facial massages made me really, really curious about where like a lot of Korean beauty trends come from. So I've got this, this energizing rose mask. I smell like Grace Kelly. Like I'm sure I still look like a serial killer. This is the gummy. I figured out what it is. It is hand cream. I do not like that you decapitate him to open him. Like that seems a little upsetting. So I have been reading a ton of articles about Korean beauty and I have decided to call in an expert, Professor Hejin Lee from NYU. First of all, what are your like specific research interests and how do they dovetail with Korean beauty. So I'm really interested in the way in which media facilitates beauty. Pop culture and beauty tend to be thought of in general as sort of the frivolous stuff of the everyday. But in Korea especially, beauty is a $3 billion export industry. For the average American, they might not be that into Korean politics, they might not know the day to day about the But they've economy, used a BB cream. But they do know the 10 step skincare regime. Yes. And it's not lost on the Korean government. This is representing Korea. This is the brand of Korea. Yeah. So beauty presents a sort of non-invasive way to achieve the Korean look. Once you know a country or a place through culture, through beauty, through the pleasurable, you know, through fun things, it makes it easier then to get on board with political policies. Truly, thank you so much. This was so fascinating. Oh, thanks for having me. I was reading about this trend called Jamsu. Uh, it's a Korean beauty trend where you coat your face with baby powder after you've done your makeup and you dunk your head in a bowl of cold water. I'm gonna dunk my head under the water now. <laughs> and now I feel like my makeup will stay forever. I just looked at my face and like the foundation looks so smooth. So Jamsu like might be nailing it. So the first thing we have, we've got these contour sticks. It's the Etude House Play Stick blending pencil. Ooh, we have these we have these cushion blushers. And now we have the Son and Park Color Cube Proof 10 Eye Primer. So we have all these Etude House uh, drawing eyebrow pencils, eyebrow contouring multi pencils. When your eyebrows are good, everything seems manageable. The Son and Park True Black Eye Pen Liner. I feel like I'm taking a Sharpie to my eye. I would not put past myself, given my history with Clorox. Curl Fix, 24 hours, mascara. Oh, it's a lash perm. Now we have the Skin Food Honey Lip Pot. Oh, it smells very delightfully like honey. And now we'll finish it off. The Sun and Park Primed and Poreless like very sleek. I feel like this is a sports car. I think this is about like as close as it's gonna get right now to perfection. Read it and weep, read it and weep. I feel like it's time to hit up K-Town. We are here at the face shop. There appears to be a sale over here. Let's do it. I got a bunch of little treats. I've got two lipsticks, one of which I am wearing right now. But I got this foot peel, this modeling gel patch for sharp faces. It's a big part of Korean beauty, and so I feel like I have to go all the way with this thing. It is 8.42 p.m., and we still have so much to get through, you guys. And I have to do my 10 steps before bed. Let's hop on the subway. Hydro Mist. 
Tree water, great. Hmm. <laughs> the smell of this is like how I imagine like Blake Lively smells. This is another little mist for my face. Meow, meow. All right, and now we're gonna really hydrate. We're gonna go for this oil stick. The word oil stick just like makes me very wary. Comfort mittens effect hand cream. Oh, oh. So first we have this skin food apple mango volume essence mist. Etude Houses strawberry sponge hair curler. Look at this. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Quinoa rich body cream. Looks like a straight up tub of oatmeal. Acne pimple master patch. Three step blackhead care patch. I'm supposed to put this on the folds of my smile and then make an O shape for a while. <laughs> the face hair is basically what Sue was telling me to do at Premiere 57 today. Like just a lot of like this stuff. This is how this goes. Now I've got the Skin Food Pomegranate Collagen Lip Mask. Oh, and it's like a closed mouth thing. So you guys, you're gonna miss out on me talking. I know you haven't heard enough. Oh my God, you guys, I wanna die. That was so hard. This has now been on me for far too long and it feels like a neck beard and I don't like it. The Etude House Tint My Brows Gel. Gonna go to sleep with it on my face and wake up and hopefully have the brows of my dreams. The foot peeling mask. Ooh, it like stings a little bit. This might cure me of my incessant nail biting. It smells like lemon, but like with lotion on lemon, like, but like an old lady's lotion. I have to say, I am not big on the scent of this one. Basically a big thing I learned today, Korean beauty is about trying. It's about making an effort. And it's really hard to make that much effort all day long. Korean beauty is all about like devouring everything about beauty. This crash course in Korean beauty has been a real adventure and I've really enjoyed it. I've never felt my skin so moisturized or so hydrated. So now it's time to take this guy, my retainer, put him in my mouth, go on to bed, okay? It's been a day.